Hi friends, welcome to VKCK Ideas. In the last video, we had discussed about the basics of polynomials. For those who have missed, I have given its link in the description box. Do check it out. Okay? In this video, we shall learn to find out the value of a polynomial. What is this? We are talking about value of the polynomial. How do we understand? Very easy. We shall take a polynomial f of x is equal to 2x cubed plus 3x square plus 5x minus 3. In order to find the value of the polynomial, we shall consider x is equal to 1. Now what we should do? We have to replace x by 1. That is, we will be finding out the value of f of 1. Now, f of 1 is equal to 2. In place of x, I will be writing 1. So, it is 1 cube plus 3. In place of x, I will be writing 1. So, it is 1 square plus 5 into x. That is 1 minus 3. Just observe, wherever there was x, I have written 1. Similarly, if there is any other Variable like y, you will have to replace y. Now we will simplify. It is 2, 1 cube, 1 into 1 into 1 is 1, plus 3, 1 square is also 1, plus 5 into 1. We shall keep it as it is, minus 3. Now it is time to multiply. 2 ones are 2, plus 3 ones are 3, plus 5 ones are 5, minus 3. We have plus 3 and minus 3 which gets cancelled and we are left with 2 and 5. If you add those, it becomes 7. So, f of 1 is 7. Now, children just observe, when we took x is equal to 1, f of 1 became 7 which is considered as value of the polynomial. We shall state what is value of the polynomial mathematically. The value of the polynomial f of x at x is equal to alpha. Alpha is simply a value whatever you are going to substitute for the unknown x is obtained by substituting x is equal to alpha. What are we going to do? We are going to replace x by alpha. Alpha may be 1, 2, 0 or whatever value in the given polynomial and is denoted by f of alpha. So, once again we shall take an example and try to understand. Now, let me consider a polynomial f of x is equal to x plus 5. Now, let me consider alpha to be 0 that is in place of x I shall write 0. So, f of x will also become f of 0. Now, in place of x, I will be writing 0. 0 plus 5, you know it is only 5. So, f of 0 is 5, which is the value of the polynomial when we gave 0 for x. Similarly, if you take x is equal to minus 1, the value will change. So, f of minus 1 will be minus 1 plus 5 minus 1 and plus 5 the sum is plus 4 so f of minus 1 is plus 4 which is the value of the polynomial when x is minus 1 so simple is it problems based on the value of the polynomial is given in the exercise 4.2 We'll take up the first problem. Find the value of the polynomial 5x minus 4x square plus 3 at x is equal to 0 and x is equal to minus 1. Friends, observe this polynomial. It is not arranged. So, first we'll have to arrange it. Minus 4x square plus 5x plus 3 because x square is the highest exponent in the polynomial. Now, you have already understood the value of the polynomial can be found by replacing the value of x. Therefore, we shall take f of 0 is equal to minus 4. In place of x, I shall write 0 plus 5. In place of x, I shall write 0 plus 3. 
Now minus 4 I shall keep as it is 0 square is always 0, 5 into 0 is 0 plus 3 therefore it is 0 plus 0 plus 3 and hence the value is plus 3. F of 0 is plus 3. Now we shall find out the value of the polynomial when x is minus 1. So f of x, if you want, you rewrite that polynomial minus 4x square plus 5x plus 3. Now go on replacing x by minus 1. So it is minus 4 minus 1 whole square plus 5 into minus 1 plus 3. Friends, be careful when you multiply this minus 1. Minus 1 into minus 1 will become plus 1. Plus into minus, it is minus 5 plus 3. Minus into plus is minus 4 minus 5 plus 3. Both negatives, that gives you minus 9 plus 3. So, minus 9 and plus 3 will give you negative 6. It is the value of f of minus 1. Third question says, to find out the value when x is equal to 2, so we shall start replacing f of 2 is equal to minus 4 and 2, 2 square plus 5 into 2 plus 3 minus 4 as it is, 2 square is 2 into 2 which is 4 plus 5, 2 is 10 plus 3 minus 4 4 is 16 plus 10 plus 3 this will be minus 16 plus 13 negative 16 and plus 13 just recall it has to be minus 3 if you are getting confused with sign here just think of the number line so that you'll be getting the answer minus 3 second question is Find P of 0, P of 1 and P of 2 for each of the following polynomials. That is, polynomials are given, you will have to find out P of 0, P of 1 and P of 2. We shall start with P of 0. Here Y is the variable. So, I will have to replace Y by 0. Now, 0 square is 0, 0 minus 0 plus 1 and hence the value will be 1. Next, we will have to find out P of 1. So, it is 1 square minus 1 plus 1 plus 1 minus 1 gets cancelled. 1 square is 1. Now, P of 2 we will have to find out. It is 2 square minus 2 plus 1. 2 square is 4. 4 minus 2 plus 1. So, 4 plus 1 is 5. 5 minus 2 is 3. Therefore, the value of P of 2 is 3. Next question is P of t is equal to 2 plus t plus 2 t square minus t cube. Here also you have to find out P of 0, P of 1 and P of 2. We shall start. Before actually substituting P of 0, we will have to rearrange the given polynomial that is First is minus t cube plus 2t square plus t plus 2. You may ask me, is it compulsory to arrange it like this? Not so, but it is a discipline to do it. So, we shall do it. First one is p of 0, where we will be replacing t by 0. Therefore, it is minus 0 cube plus 2 into 0 square plus 0 plus 2. All these are zeros and hence some will also be zero. Therefore, P of zero will be two. The value of the polynomial at zero is two. Next, we have to find out P of one. That is, P of t is equal to minus t cube plus two t square plus t plus two. We'll be replacing t by one. So, it is minus of 1 cube plus 2 into 1 square plus 1 plus 2. You have observed that I have replaced all t's by 1. Now, minus 1 cube is 1 plus 2 into 1 square is 1 plus 1 plus 2. So, it will be plus 1 and minus 1 cancelled. 
two ones are two plus two, the value of p of one is four. P of t is minus t cube plus two t square plus t plus two. I shall be finding p of two that is replacing t by two minus two cube plus two into two square plus two plus two. When you substitute, don't forget to use brackets because it avoids confusions. So it will be minus two into two into two is eight plus two into two into two is four. Plus two plus two is four. Now minus eight, two four za eight plus four minus eight and plus eight gets cancelled, and the final value will be four. Friends, if you learn to find out value of these polynomials, it will be very easy for you to find out the zero of the polynomial. Then later on factor theorem and the reminder theorem very very easily. So we shall go with another two problems that is to find out p of 0 here. It is a very simple polynomial that is only x cube is given and hence it should be 0 cube which is nothing but 0. Next is p of 1 it is 1 cube value will be 1 and it is 2 cube value will be 8. The fourth question is p of x is equal to x minus 1 into x plus 1. Here also you are supposed to find out p of 0, p of 1 and p of 2. p of 0 I have already written. It is 0 minus 1 into 0 plus 1. 0 minus 1 is minus 1. 0 plus 1 is plus 1. If you multiply minus 1 and plus 1, it will be minus 1. Next, p of 1, it is 1 minus 1 into 1 plus 1. Just observe here, 1 minus 1 will be 0. 0 into anything is going to be 0. So, you can even omit this step and directly write p of 1 is 0. Next is to find out p of 2. So, it is 2 minus 1 into 2 plus 1, 2 minus 1 is 1 and 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 ones are 3, p of 2 is 3. By this we have solved two mains from your exercise. We shall solve few more in the next video. Keep watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much.